Are you interested in Paris photography? I am going to show you the best location for Paris photography from the tallest rooftop in Paris, France. From here, you can take pictures of the Eiffel Tower and the entire city. This is the best location for Paris photography. Paris! We finally made it to Paris. We haven't been here in five years and we're on our way to a super iconic photography location. It's not the Eiffel Tower, but it's actually the tallest building in Paris. We have a 30 minute walk to get to this building. I just came across these motorized battery powered scooters and you can just download an app, basically rent them on the spot. So we're gonna give this a try. So this one here is from a company called Lime 5, made in California, they say. So I'm just installing the app right now. Okay, that took just like two minutes. The thing is activated. I've never done this before. They say sort of kickstart it to get going. So I'm just gonna try this. There's the gas and there's the brake. Let's try this. This is so fun. It's like <laughs> way better than walking. Let's go. I don't know how I'm gonna carry the camera and do this at the same time, but I need a GoPro or something. Woo! This is awesome. It's actually really fast. So fun. So we finished the scooter ride and oh my goodness, that was so fun. I wanna do that again. So we're at the base of this building tallest in Paris and we'll pay our money and up we go. So even though you're at the top of the elevator, you're not quite there. More stairs to go. Okay, seriously? I did not expect this. It's like a party up here. Very different from when I was here five years ago. Wow. But there's the Eiffel Tower. The view from this rooftop is spectacular and you have an uninterrupted 360 degree view of the entire city of Paris. You can also buy food and drinks and hang out with friends and listen to really loud nightclub music. All right, so we made it here. Uh, yeah, the music is a huge surprise for me. It adds ambiance, what can I say? And I just had no idea it was a party. Anyway, it's a photography party now because I'm about to haul out all my stuff and camp right here at this one spot. There's only four slots where there is a break in the glass where you can stick a camera lens through. Otherwise, you're gonna be shooting through the glass. So I'm going to try and own this one spot and hopefully dominate the spot when it comes sunset time. Sunset is just starting to happen and then this is where the view spot starts to get super crowded. Everyone's trying to get in with their iPhones to take these important shots. It's kind of unfair for the people who have been camped out like us for two hours, but everybody has the same right to get the photo and everybody wants their photos. It just makes for a really tight and cramped photo shooting opportunity. So I'm definitely bracketing and using a minus two EV and a plus two EV and a zero EV. There's the middle one, the dark one, and the bright one. Looking good. This is usually a tough shot to get because the foreground is dark and there's a very bright sky in the background. So the only way to do this is with HDR. So I took the three photos and blended them together and this is the result. My favorite time to photograph Paris is after the sun goes down below the horizon. There is a special 10 minute time period where the amount of light in the sky and on the ground in the city kind of balances out. And when the city lights turn on, that is when the magic photography happens. I really like this composition. Look at the street on the left and how it's balanced out with the lit up building that's over on the right. And then the Eiffel Tower is right in the middle. This composition is like the perfect amount of balance and symmetry. 
When it gets dark, at the top of the Eiffel Tower, a rotating spotlight is turned on, and if you time it just right, you can capture it in a photo. If you enjoy adventure photography videos like this one, then hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it, and you'll be notified whenever I have a new adventure photography video. This building is called La Tour Montparnasse, and if you ever have any plans on visiting Paris, then you need to get here onto this rooftop, bring your best camera, bring your tripod, and get here really early. If you want to see what the fireworks look like at the Eiffel Tower on France's national holiday, Bastille Day, then click on this video here on the left. I'm Tim Shields, and I will see you in my next adventure photography video.